Welcome to Blake's Grill. Blake's Grill is a fine culinary establishment located in the wonderful city of Orlando, Florida. There is a variety of delicious food on the menu and a great atmosphere for guests to immerse themselves in while they meet with family, friends, or coworkers. Even though the atmosphere is great for customers, behind the counter things are pretty rocky. A company is only as good as its managers, and Blake's Grill has a terrible track record with those. The current general manager is mean and making employees disgruntled. Greg, the CEO, noticed the bad morale among the staff, only because he discovered that it was affecting the restaurant's profit. Customers don't want to be helped by grumpy employees. To solve the problem, he replaces the horrible manager by promoting Melanie. Melanie is no stranger to hard work. She is the most diligent employee at Blake's Grill and exhibits great managerial qualities. However, she definitely has her work cut out for her in her new position. She's up against jealous and aloof co-workers, surly upper management, and absolutely anything that customers may throw her way. Does Melanie have what it takes, or will she crack under the pressure? Keep tuning into Finger Puppet Management TV to find out if Melanie can save Blake's grill. The target audience for our show are young adults involved in a workplace setting. This is a big demographic, and hopefully our characters and their conflicts are easy to identify with and relate to in real life. This show is also for anyone who loves a good dramedy, and of course, foodies, because Blake's Girl features many delicious dishes. Blake's Girl is very diverse. It has a wide array of staff, all with different attitudes, values, strengths, and weaknesses. Greg is the CEO of Blake's Grill. He is the first in the line of authority at the restaurant. He does not exhibit the traits that make a manager successful. Greg is frequently described as moody. He is hostile to the employees under him during crises. Greg presents negative reinforcement by blaming Melanie for things out of her control. Greg is only open to assisting in adjustments that benefit Blake's Grill and its profit. He yells at his employees and usually throws his own responsibilities on Melanie so she can deal with them instead. Sometimes this action actually benefits the new manager because it empowers Melanie to make decisions that her position usually wouldn't have access to. Melanie is the new general manager at Blake's Grill. Melanie was having a hard time adjusting in her new role because other employees were not accepting her as an authority. She's quickly coming into her own, though, and already exemplifies the traits that make managers successful, such as an ability to survive stressful situations, good people skills, and she is ambitious with a problem-solving mindset. Melanie applies the concept of organizational leadership when she creates new employee handbooks to distribute amongst staff. She demonstrates swift trust while communicating with James about cultural differences. Melanie uses her conceptual and interpersonal skills when meeting with employees to discuss sensitive topics. Will is another employee of Blake's Grill. He mainly serves. Will is usually available to come in on days when he is not scheduled but needed. Because of his positive attitude, Will is rarely in trouble at work. However, Will could learn to take constructive criticism better. He joins Thomas in protest when Melanie introduces a new employee handbook. He believes his status is higher than other employees because he has seniority over all of them. Because of his perceived status, Will helps create an intro-group conflict. He engages in upward communication when he voices his opinion to Melanie about the handbooks. Will does his best work when there is motivation to succeed. Ashley is an employee of Blake's Grill. Ashley is a server. She shows up to work but does not exemplify values that reflect the mission of Blake's Grill. She will not go above and beyond to help out. If she's called in on a day off, there's only a slim chance that she'll even pick up the phone. Ashley has to be a whistleblower when she faces harassment in the workplace. Because of her weak work centrality, Ashley is passed up in the decision to fill a new takeout position. However, in the event of a dispute, Ashley is willing to engage in collaboration to solve the issue.
Thomas is an employee of Blake's Grill. He is the kitchen manager but assists with hosting and serving when the restaurant is very short staffed. Thomas is sometimes ordinary and he shows that he is capable of experiencing an ethical lapse and engages in critical incident when he is accused of harassment in the workplace. Being one of the more complex characters on the show, he often brushes off direction from his superiors. However, he rarely misses a shift and displays a great work ethic in other areas. For example, he demonstrates technical skills when he must work with Melanie to find a new distributor for the restaurant with his firm's budget. James is a new employee of Blake's Grill. James is already demonstrating a strong work ethic. He is Colombian and has a thick accent which can cause confusion among staff as well as an internal conflict for James. He demonstrates emotional maturity because he is open to new ideas and takes constructive criticism well. Despite cultural barriers, James remains a helpful new addition to the team at Blake's Grill. He assists Melanie by engaging in a negotiation about his conflicts. James is always willing to work with the team and has the firm's best interests in mind at all times. After years of Melanie working towards this, she is finally getting the keys to Blake's Grill. Thomas is the kitchen manager at Blake's Grill, and he is disappointed with Melanie's new promotion. Melanie doesn't want to let this negative behavior get to Greg. To solve this, she tries to explain to Thomas that working hard and being a team player is important. Regardless of authority, his dedication and attitude have the power to affect everyone else's performance at work. Thomas listens. He vows to work more openly with Melanie in the future. The management concepts used in this story are as follows. Melanie exercises her legitimate power to enact change at the restaurant. She uses the influence tactic, rational persuasion, and explains her thoughts through facts and logical reasoning. Melanie is facing a predicament at Blake's Grill. The restaurant is short-staffed on a busy night. Melanie wants to make her customers happy as well as make a profit. Melanie calls various employees that are not scheduled and also asks Thomas, an employee who is already at work, to stay a bit later. Out of all the employees Melanie reaches out to, she finds one who is available to come in and help. And Thomas agrees to stay and says he could use the money anyways. After implementing her decision, the restaurant is back under control. Customers are happy because they're being served and helped. The employees that volunteered are happy because they get to make a little extra money. Melanie is starting to get the hang of management. The management concepts used in this story are as follows. Melanie uses the classical decision-making model to solve her problem. She identifies the problem, develops objectives, generates alternatives, analyzes alternatives, selects alternatives, and implements the decision. Finally, Melanie will wait to monitor and evaluate the results of the decision. An employee accuses another employee of harassment. Ashley comes to Melanie after a shift at Blake's Grill. She describes an incident where Thomas asks her to get drinks with him after work. Melanie inquires if this is the first time this has occurred. This is not the first time he has expressed an interest in Ashley. Ashley states that the advances have happened in person and through text. Melanie tells Ashley that she understands how overwhelming it must feel to be constantly harassed. Melanie does not want this to affect the work of her other employees and does not want to be seen as incompetent by her superior, Greg. Melanie plans to solve the issue by meeting with Thomas about Ashley's accusations. She explains Ashley's feelings and asks Thomas to refrain from making advances to any other coworker in the future. It is not professional and can lead to her employees feeling uncomfortable. Melanie expresses sensitivity and assures Ashley that the flirting will stop. The management concepts used in this story are as follows. Melanie acts in the disturbance handler role when she uses her interpersonal skills and conceptual skills to discuss the situation with Ashley when Thomas experiences an ethical lapse. In this episode, Ashley plays the role of a whistleblower, and Melanie uses the influence tactic collaboration to develop a way to help Ashley feel safe.
Melanie's kitchen staff is reporting low levels of meat in the quarterly restaurant inventory. Melanie realizes that the company's meat vendor is frequently late on deliveries and is usually missing product that Melanie ordered. Because of unsatisfactory service, Melanie initiates a group meeting with her employees and asks for suggestions on how to solve the problem. Her employees all agree that the best course of action would be to leave the current meat vendor and shop for a comparable alternative. Melanie decides that the best vendor will be one willing to provide service at the same price or slightly above what she is currently paying. She brings Thomas to several meetings with possible vendors. They find a meat vendor within their budget and implement them immediately. At the next quarterly inventory, Melanie will assess the numbers and determine if the switch was positive change for the restaurant. Melanie applies group decision making in this episode. She allows her team to brainstorm ideas with her guidance because she knows that the groups usually come to decisions faster than the individual. She plays in the negotiator management role when she has to analyze her resources and communicate with outside firms to find the best deal. Blake's Grill has been increasingly busy lately. Even on weeknights, a long line forms at the host station. Greg decides that opening a to-go counter for weeknights would be a great way to make a profit and feed a number of customers that they can't see. Greg gives the responsibility to the new general manager, Melanie. Melanie knows her decision will have a significant effect on the restaurant, so she wants to hire the right person for the position. Melanie decides that she wants to hire a people person. Ashley, a current employee, wants to apply for the new position because it offers set hours. Ashley doesn't meet the requirements to be considered a top performer. Melanie posts her job specification on various employment websites and gets a few applicants for the position. She selects a candidate and after background checks and reference checks, Blake's Grill finally welcomes James to the team. James can't wait to get started at Blake's Grill. The management concepts used in this story are as follows. During the job analysis process, Melanie creates a job specification for the takeout position she plans to fill. After creating a job posting and selecting her candidates, Melanie conducts a structured interview. James is the chosen candidate, and after he completes his background check, James will begin training for his new position. As the manager, Melanie has been doing some thinking about having more control over her team. She wants to measure the performance of her employees and establish standards they should work by. Melanie creates a handout for her staff with information such as rules and regulations, proper dress code, and qualities they should possess when handling customers. Melanie has also included rewards in this handout. She also includes consequences for not following the newly given rules. Some of the employees who have been with Blake's Grill for a while, like Thomas and Will, are surprised when they see this handout the next time they come into work. They get angry that Melanie doesn't think they're working up to the job and that they need to be reminded. Melanie simply explains she is taking cautionary strategic control to remind all employees their core expectations of the restaurant before they start to slip. Afterwards, the employees are super excited and become motivated to begin receiving recognition for all the hard work they put in on a daily basis. The management concepts used in this story are as follows. Melanie wants more control over her staff. To begin the process of gaining more control, Melanie must measure performance amongst her employees. Melanie receives feedback from seasoned employees, Thomas and Will. In the face of criticism, Melanie simply explains that she is applying strategic control to remind employees of expectations before they start to slip. After the reason for the new employee handbook is discussed, the team is motivated to begin working towards rewards. The new employee and team member James is a fantastic asset to the group, who brings lots of energy and diligence. However, Melanie and the rest of the team struggle with a cultural barrier. James is from Colombia and has a thick accent that at times can make him hard to understand. This is frustrating to James himself and also frustrating for his coworkers. A couple customers have also come up to Melanie to mention that they cannot understand their server. 
This is not James' fault, but Melanie has to have a conversation with James to negotiate how they can fix the situation. Melanie, as the manager, is going to improve her listening skills, observe nonverbal cues, and be more open-minded. She will also speak to the rest of the staff and use these concepts to avoid further conflict. She comforts James and assures him that it will just take practice and time. Melody recognizes that it's important to listen to the concerns of her employees and handle them with respect. The management concepts used in this story are as follows. Melody has to navigate through cultural barriers amongst her staff. Melody has to discuss the language barrier between the new employee James and her staff as well as the customers from the restaurant. To improve communication skills, Melody observes nonverbal cues and tries to be more open-minded when meeting with James. James demonstrates emotional maturity by taking the constructive criticism from Melanie well.